this is very this is very awkward like very 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 awkward and I don't even know how to start this video because it's, it's like really really awkward Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, La Perfect Lena. Obviously, my channel name has changed to Just Omotaya, which is my name. And yeah, okay, I know I look like a total different person right now, but yeah, I'm excited to be talking that talking to you guys, like sitting down and having a conversation with you guys. Um, this is the first one in a while like to sit down like this and talk to you guys obviously i've uploaded videos this year which are, like was my wedding my wedding video my honeymoon my tradition and white wedding honeymoon vlogs from business trips things like that has you know they've all gone up this year i had a bunch of content prior to that i needed to go up as well that happened this year but i think excuse me <laughs> we need to address the elephant in the room so yeah guys <laughs> um i have documented some sort of this news um as you guys probably i uh, know i don't think anybody kind of knows this even a lot of people don't know that i'm actually pregnant at the moment i'm expecting my husband and i are expecting our first child and um we're really excited like we're really really excited this is our first baby um very surprised when I found out and so really shocked really really shocked so that was something that I wanted to kind of talk about um, and I'll tell you guys the reason why I wanted to talk about it because I'm usually that person that when that phase of my life happens or when special moments in my life like this happen I should I keep it pushing it wouldn't be something that I would want to bring out there but this journey has been such an uh, a unique journey and different that I know that somebody out there needs this video somebody out there needs to hear my story and you know it is what it is so I'm gonna just do like a quick um, so this video is basically gonna be what they never told you about pregnancy and yeah that kind of stuff yeah basically what you you were never told about pregnancy so i'm gonna start off with how i got pregnant so how i found out i was pregnant i found out i was pregnant at the end of january yeah at the end of january about the 20 something of january towards the last week in january prior to that i was on i, I went on a trip uh, to nigeria in december when i came back i found out i was pregnant in january it was quite late actually by the time i found out i was pregnant i was over six weeks gone and I didn't know I was pregnant and I went on a business trip the business trip video you guys saw that I wasn't at open world London and things like that I was having drinks on that trip I didn't realize I was pregnant so it really didn't <laughs> I didn't know I was pregnant so I had drinks here and there like some cocktails you know and um, I came back from that business trip and I got a message from one of my friends she is one of those people that kind of get a sense for when you're pregnant um but while i was on that business trip i realized i was having pains on my lower back and i just thought it was normal back ache and when i came back i obviously continued going to the gym and you know i thought maybe that was what it was and prior to that she i'm gonna kind of make the story short she then messaged me on snapchat but for some reason I was at work when she sent that message for some reason half the message came in and the other half didn't come in so she sent me a message on snapchat saying i had a dream and the other half didn't come in and i got home that evening and my husband was like oh i want to get some skincare you should come with me because you know about skincare and we'll get stuff so there we were and there was um pregnancy kits on sale i always buy pregnancy kits because it's something that i've always done it's not like something unique it's something i've always done i always i'm one of those people that always have one line around in my house and um, obviously <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm i've always been that person i always have one pregnancy kit 
lying around somewhere in my house and um, so when I was buying it it wasn't really like oh I just saw it and it was a digital one and I grabbed two and you know he paid for everything and left and then the next day morning half the other message came in saying you were pregnant and I was like oh, there she goes again I need to pee I'm just gonna pee on this and see what happens and I peed on it and lo and behold it was like three weeks plus I was shocked I was shocked I had mixed feelings I was very happy and in my mind I struggled with identifying I know a lot of people will come for you for this and um, these days we live in the phase whereby it's hard to really express how you feel I was shocked on the other hand I was happy and on the other hand I was feeling like oh, oh my god I can't believe I'm pregnant like I'm married already but I kept saying to myself my life is about to change am I ready for this change am I willing to accept that my life is about to change that was one part of my mind so I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant and a few days I can't wait I cannot wait so so that's what it is anyways we found out we're pregnant my husband was ecstatic he was over the moon so that kind of gave me more joy and more because he was so so happy like i've never seen someone so happy so that kind of made me like really happy and just like obviously i know he would like that's the thing i always say to people look for a good father figure as well when you're looking for a good man so i know like he he'd be an amazing daddy i found out i was pregnant so how has pregnancy been for me after i found out i was pregnant pregnancy took a lot out of me um one of the first things that started to happen to me in my first trimester was I had a lot, a lot of nausea. Oh my God. I was so nauseous. And when I first got pregnant, I was eating healthy. I was maintaining a very stable, healthy, clean diet. About week 10, my body just would not want to accept healthy food. I was feeling so nauseous. I was feeling so tired. I was very nauseous everything made me nauseous everything made me smell everything smelled so bad to me smelled so terrible to me when i got to the 12 weeks i was expecting my morning sickness to go that didn't happen for me my morning sickness didn't clear away until like week 15 week 14. now everyone is different um i feel like <laughs> I feel like if you've been pregnant, you would understand, or if you've had a rough pregnancy, you would understand how I feel. My pregnancy has not been a walk in the park. My pregnancy has been very, very difficult. With my second trimester, once I got to week 12, I started to have pelvic floor pain. So I never really had that enjoy your pregnancy moment, like kind of thing, like, you know, I thought I'd be pregnant and walking on the hills. That was not me. And um, that's not me, obviously I'm still pregnant, that's not me. And uh, pregnancy for me, it's tough. Really, really tough. It's taken so much out of my body than I expected it would. Um, it's taken so much out of my body than I expected it would. For me, it's like, in, I started to have pelvic floor, floor, floor pain from obviously my first trimester. As my pregnancy progressed, my pelvic floor pain, pain got really bad so basically i'm very immobile so i'm basically seated a lot and light i see i'm basically seated a lot or i'm lying down Um, i wouldn't be able to cook to boil a kettle like i wouldn't be able to or to cook so i stopped cooking at very early stage of my pregnancy shout out to my mom she cooks and brings it to me every two weeks and obviously my part my husband as well tries to get all my meals as he can like you know so i'm you know seated or like when i'm at work then i'll eat at work and um having pelvic floor pain my as my pregnancy progressed it was really really bad it's at the stage whereby it feels like someone takes a knife to up uh, towards like a hot knife towards your lower back and they're stabbing they're stabbing constantly on that one spot so that's how it feels for me um and i'm making this video because I went on YouTube, <sighs> sorry I'm out of breath, I went on YouTube and I tried to find people that are going through what I'm going through, like pregnancy videos, I couldn't find anyone that had the exact same issue. People talked about lower back pain, but no one really talked about having pain in their pelvic, like that pelvic floor pain, that deep pain. Now it's very common in pregnancy, 
when I went to the hospital, there, in the, there's a lot of women, there was a lot of women on the list. We did a class and 17 people showed up. And I remember one day it was really bad in the office and one of my colleagues told me his wife went to see a physio. And they did a fantastic job. So I contacted the physio and I tried to find out if they could do it. I kind of explained what my situation was and what they could do for me. So they started um, treatment. So I started going to the physiotherapy every two weeks to get my pelvic um, floor treatments done, like massages and things that I could do to relieve the pain and the tension I had in my body that was all causing my pelvic floor pain. So, um, obviously as my pregnancy progressed, driving beca became very difficult, sitting, my back hurt all the time, so like this is like my best friend, this, this stuff right here, if I can pick it up. This is my best friend, so it was either I go private with my, well my medical is private, but the hospital package is private, private medical, but I wanted to go private again, instead of taking the free physio therapy offer from the hospital. I tried it one time, I didn't like it, it wasn't really good and it wasn't personal enough. So I decided to go to like a one-on-one -on -one physio uh, because I just felt like they didn't understand my pain. The hospital did understand my pain but they have millions and millions of patients so they're not gonna take their time to attend to that need that is killing you because it's not harmful for the baby. It's just the mother is in a lot of pain. So yeah. And I set up my treatment every two weeks, so this is like my friend. I have the other stuff. This big ball. I sit on this every day. Even this is not even for labor, this is just where I sit. I have the ball massages, the everything. So my husband came to a few appointments with me so he could know, he could see what they're doing and then do it at home whenever it was we were in between appointments. It's expensive to do that, but it had to be done. That's why you need to have health insurance people. Um, it had to be done. And of course, even with the physio, I still had to get pregnancy massages regularly because I was in a lot of pain. Um, yeah, so it got to a point whereby at my late second, my early third trimester, I started to de develop sciatica. If you don't know what that is, Google it or YouTube it. It's a nerve pain anyways that comes from your bum all the way down your leg. It feels like it's so painful you can't put your feet on the ground. You're in so much pain. Imagine being pregnant, heavily pregnant and having pelvic floor pain and having sciatica. Yay me! <laughs> so um, I had sciatica and um, it was really, really, really painful so i would have that and then all of a sudden my left leg started to numb i had sciatica on my right leg my left leg started to numb and then i would have pain on my kind of hip bone on the left so basically the two legs were in discomfort it was one leg initially and now it's two legs so basically i had sciatica i had pelvic floor pain all at the same time and then you have your normal pregnancy symptoms and you're heavy it's a lot so I had to go back to my physio and then I went to see a chiropractor. Um, yeah, so I went to see a chiropractor and see if I could get some cracking and adjustment done on my back to kind of release some of the pain and just get realigned. And just kind of like, and just kind of relieves all the stress I had in my body. It was okay. I didn't really like it. So I had to go. It was okay. I went a couple of times and I stopped. I didn't really like it. It wasn't the cracking of the back. I felt like she could do more, but she wouldn't do more because I was pregnant. And while in America, well, from the videos I watched, they do more even on pregnant women. It doesn't stop them from doing certain things that needs to be done. But she wasn't willing to do more. After that, I had to go back to physio. And I'm still in physiotherapy right now. So... Um, physical therapy or whatever you want to call it. I go to my physio and then I kind of took my time and explained my sciatica pain to her. So when I then we started a new treatment. So we would do my pelvic floor this week, my sciatica nerve next week or depending on which one is really bad that moment. And she would do these needles. 
tell trust me I get a five on each leg so she will do these needles on my kind of like your butt cheek area joints kind of like thing here not on your butt but like the muscles there on your lap here on your thighs the muscles on the thighs she will do this needles so I get five on each so it would create blood flow and energy rush and she'll do the massages around there so she'll do that for me on both leg i would have the relief like the like a relief of the pain and i would come back again and do it so every session we'll do that and we'll do my normal physio checkup and things like that so a lot of pregnant women go to that particular physio that i went to so that's another thing you want to do your research and then obviously i'll get my pregnancy massage as normal and then my pelvic floor pain they gave me a support belt in the hospital that didn't work my physio said to not use it because it was making the pain worse and we would do what we could do so my pregnancy has not been a walk in the back it's been very very difficult and with that being said i had normal pregnancy symptoms like being extremely fatigued in my third trimester right now i am extremely fatigued the end of my second trimester to third trimester has been a massive gush of fatigueness like very 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 fatigued like today has to be one of the days I have so much energy and I feel tired but I feel, but I have so much energy right now um, I'm shocked like very fatigued and um, at the moment obviously I'm having problems sleeping and I've had insomnia throughout my pregnancy but it's been up and down sometimes I have it sometimes I don't sometimes but now I actually have insomnia again so it's called pregnancy insomnia I was told so I have having sciatica means that I, I can't drive for long because I have so much num numbness on my legs and things like that so I've had to stop work earlier obviously I have a job where I can work from home as well but I've had to stop going to the office earlier than I intended to that my maternity leave would start so things like that happens and you can't change it and the reason why i wanted to make this video was because when i was going through my especially my pelvic floor pain i couldn't find anyone on youtube that had the exact same story that i had that was feeling that pain like someone put hot knife through your back and they're stabbing you constantly you can't walk you can't cook when you take your shower you're in so much pain because you can't stand up straight no one really said that a lot of people just said they had lower back pain no one really like and i still see them doing things like i see them cleaning their house i can't do jack i want to do stuff i can't do anything i rely on my husband or oh, close friend shout out to my friend esther she has been amazing like she's a midwife so whenever she's off work she would come here and help me like you know my friends came to help me put my baby nursery together like i can't do anything like i wouldn't be able to bring a, lo a lot of laundry out of the machine like just maybe out like standing like just take it out and just stand like i can't i'm, I'm in so much um pain from my pelvic floor so you can imagine having that kind of pain and you know there's like there's nothing the hospital could do about it or whatever it was they couldn't all i could do is take paracetamol and that doesn't work because the pain is there it's not going anywhere and yeah so i haven't had the best pregnancy i haven't had the worst and it's different for people my sister is pregnant and she has no problems whatsoever she has no symptoms no nothing it's been a walk in the park for her but with that being said pregnancy is such a beautiful thing that you have to experience even if i don't feel like that but just having my baby move kick and just roll over my belly it's so so beautiful and i wouldn't change that for anything i haven't met the little one yet but you know i'm excited to meet um to meet the baby um but it's just i wish i had more of a I wouldn't say easy manageable pregnancy that I have and I just have wasn't I haven't I, I, I'm, I just I'm not I haven't been just that lucky to have that you know pregnancy where people can get up and go that didn't happen for me really hoping someday in the long long future <laughs> if I had another baby It'd be easier but i'm so thankful i'm so grateful baby's doing great kicking and just happy you are happy yeah and happy yeah baby's happy so it is what it is hi guys thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna actually film what's in my hospital bag 
next because basically we're ready to go i'm happy to have this little one outside my body right now so you guys bye